Hi, Leo. This is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is your um, June, July, and August love spread for 2018. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, for those of you who are single or currently in a relationship. Um, so I'm just doing these readings for the next three months as I have a really hectic schedule coming up and uh, I'm going to be a grandmother. Yay. So um, I just wanted to get these out for you in case I miss um, the mark for each month. <clears throat> but Leo, I've already placed your cards down. So we'll get started with your reading. I'm just going to pull a card from the Angel Oracle deck just to see um, what advice or energy will be playing out for all of these three months here. Oops. Okay. So you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So for those of you who are already in relationships, this is definitely... You know, it's not, it doesn't have to just be for you. It could be for the other person as well. Um, but there is, I feel like there's work that needs to be done in regard to a, a particular relationship. This could be <clears throat> someone, um, you know, if you're single, this could be a family member or a friend. Or if you're involved with someone or have a spouse, there's something that needs, I, I feel like either one or two people were just, at this place where you're like, you know, I'm just going to let it go. I, I, it's not worth the time and the effort anymore. Uh, someone may be feeling that way. You may be feeling that way, Leo. <clears throat> but the advice here for the next three months is maybe to give it a try one more time. Or someone else may be thinking that that's something that they want to, you know, give it a try one more time. Okay. So the first row here will be for June. So you have the Three of Pentacles. And again, the Three of Pentacles is, you know, teamwork, putting in the effort. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, two people making it work, learning new skills, trying to figure out what needs to be done to make the relationship work in some way. And this is this is requires effort. So this is effort that, that gets put in. And with the Judgment card here, this is like all the truths finally coming out. Everything that happened in the relationship in the past, whatever your current situation is with someone, you, you may even have a situation that you don't even know. You may have a friend or a family member that someone is just ready to throw in the towel for some reason, and you may not even know about it. But I feel like you will either find out sometime in June that either someone is about to call it quits, or you may be the one to do this. And uh, this card judgment can be about reconciliation, right? So it's reconciliation in several ways. It's where we've taken inventory, we've taken stock, we've looked at the situation, we see what needs to be done, we see you know, uh, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be brought back in, what needs to be discarded, and try to fix or work with what's left. Okay, or this is just someone, if someone, you and another person had a split of some sort or a break, this is reuniting to try to make it work again in June. Now going into July, you have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the High Priestess. So there's some fast moving energy coming in and a lot of makeup sex or hot makeup sex for those of you who if we're dealing with a particular person or a partner, a lot of that energy going in. And I feel like for some of you, that's really all that's needed. I feel like you and another person, honestly, just need to have that. I'm not saying that's the fix all, but sometimes it is. Sometimes that closeness is really what's needed, you know, um, because that closeness and that physical bonding, it can bring that love back in, you know, that affection for each other. I know some of you don't want to because maybe you're angry, but I feel like the anger is dissipating because I'm not seeing angry energy here at all. The Six of Wands is victory. So I, I feel like this is going to put things back to a place where they need to be or a place where it's needed to be. I mean, some of you may just have sexless relationships 
and you need to get that back. If you're single, you know, you could be meeting someone in July, someone that could just come in. You, Some of you, the, another other message is that this is someone you don't know and you're single and this is someone coming in. Be careful of that energy. Um, they could come off as being someone who um, has kind of like a secret plan or they're not telling the whole truth. They're coming in just to conquer. Um, they're coming in for a hookup. And, and if for those of you who are not looking for that, um, this person might kind of hide that from you and they might distort it in some ways or say that they're particular, you know, they're like this or they do want that. So that's just a small message for some of you. So for those of you who are single that don't have anyone, you could have reconciliation either with a past lover or a friend or family member where things begin to get healed. And you could also be meeting someone in July. Okay. Um, but also for you, Leos that have someone that wants to work on the relationship again, or you both decide that you want to try to do this. I feel like, you know, that hookup here, that getting back together is going to ignite some deep, deep feelings within both of you. It's almost like the high priestess sometimes she comes across to me as someone who's all knowing, like she has the key. Like I feel like the key to this door that has been locked for so long is finally going to open. And, you know, even though the high priestess, she keeps her secrets. There's, I, the message that's coming through to me for you, Leos for July is you'll know when you know, you're just going to know. And, and the other person, like both of you in this situation or this relationship, you know, you're, you're just going to know what to do. You're going to know how to handle it. And then, oh my gosh, August, happy birthday to you, um, July and August Leos. There's marriage. There's an offer, proposal of marriage, ace of cups, a new beginning, four of wands. I mean, look at these cards. This is awesome. Okay. So I do feel like whatever situation maybe you were experiencing or going through with a particular person, all is going to end well at the end of the summer. There will be some type of proposal and a new beginning, something new starting, a new arousal of love, a renewal of love also. And even if you are in a marriage or in a relationship, you know, it's almost like this relationship gets revived and there's a breath of fresh air coming. Some of you, there could be a new baby, could be news of a, of a pregnancy as well. Um, and that could be coming, either that's with you and it's positive. It's not negative. It's a good thing. So for those of you who are thinking, oh my gosh, my ex left, I'm going to find out he got someone pregnant. No, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling that this is positive news. This could have something to do with you or um, a close friend or a family member. There could be a wedding. Someone may get engaged. It could be you. It could be the other person proposing engagement. So yeah, that's basically what I feel. I'm not going to call out signs. You know, for those of you who are um, diehard tarot fans, then you know the signs because you see the cards, judgment, the high priestess, the knight of cups, um, the knight of wands. There's a lot of messages coming through in July and August, new messages coming through, new it, it, things happening. For those of you who are single and you have someone that does come in, I do feel like this person, even though they, they, <laughs> even though they may be coming in with this, you know, this flair and this, this, this knight of wands energy where they're, they're so like passionate and sexual. Um, even though they're hiding some secret, this person could be married or they could be with someone else. but they could propose something to you anyway. You might be dealing with someone who's okay with 10 wives. I don't really know. Um, or you might be dealing with someone, this person could come in and make an offer to you to maybe want to get married. This could be a soulmate thing happening or maybe want to get married or, 
get into a relationship with you, even though they know that they have someone else, they may try to end that past relationship with that other person and try to work on establishing something new with you. So there's a lot of different messages going on. Um, and of course, this reading is very general. If you want to get a personal reading, you can just go to my website, moonpytarot.com. You can also download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. And I'm now um, uploading videos, uh, real short videos, uh, all kinds of different types of readings that you can get, you can purchase. They'll be relatively inexpensive, nothing like the personal readings. Of course, those are always best because they're personal, um, but there'll be lots of neat goodies and things like that. You just need to have the iPhone. All of the uh, information is in the description box below, so definitely check it out. Hope you have a great summer, Leo, and see you soon. All right, bye.